Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find the number of words uh, in this problem. Here the problem is how many words with or without meaning can be formed using all the letters of the word equation at a time so that the vowels and consonants occur together. So here the given word is equation. In this equation word, uh, first see the vowels here. So here e U, A, I, O are vowels because we know that A, E, I, O, U are vowels and the remaining Q, T, N are consonants. So here the vowels and consonants occur together. We have to write the number of words. Uh, in that word, the vowels and the consonants occur together. That means uh, if you see here, here the vowels, all the vowels you have to write at one place and all the consonants you have to write at one place. For example, if you take all the vowels as one letter and all the consonants as one letter, if you see here, here there are two boxes. In this box you have to write vowels or you can write consonants also. Here in this box, if you write here vowels, then you have to write uh, consonants here. And if you write consonants here and you have to write vowels like that, you have to arrange the uh, letters. So the number of ways we can arrange if we consider ovals as one letter and consonants as one letter is equal to 2p2 that is 2 factorial because here two ways and here one way. So you can see here any of uh, the vowels you can write or any of uh, uh, consonants also you can write but all together you have to write. And again, if you see here, all the vowels, if you write at one place, you can arrange these vowels in any order. Here, for example, E, U, A, I, O, you can arrange or you can arrange A here or U here or O here. Like that, you can arrange any of these letters, you can arrange in any way. So, again, the number of ways we can arrange only vowels uh, in this box. Only vowels, you can arrange, for example, vowels are 5. So, five boxes you can arrange in any order. So, for example, first in the first box, any of these letters you, uh, you can uh, put here and the remaining four ways uh, because the remaining letters are four. If you arrange one letter, the remaining are four letters. Like that, here three letters, two letters you can arrange. The remaining is only one letter. So, that is nothing but 5p5. So, the number of ways we can arrange only vowels is 5p5, that is 5 factorial. Similarly, the number of ways we can arrange only consonants. Here, consonants are Q, T, and only three letters. So, that is three factorial. Similar to this, here three ways, two ways, one way. So, that is three factorial. And uh, therefore, the required number of words is two factorial into five factorial into three factorial. That is two factorial is two into one. Five factorial is five into four into three into two into one. And three factorial is three into two into one. If you multiply this, you will get 1440 words. So, this is the required number of words we can arrange if the vowels and consonants occur together. Now, you can see the examples here. Uh, here, the vowels together and consonants together. So, you can arrange like this. Either vowels first and next uh, consonants or consonants first and vowels next. But Ovals together and consonants together, you have to write. And again, you can write the ovals uh, in any order. For example, A, E, U, O, I, or I, you can write here, or E, you can write it first, like that. You can arrange in any order. Similarly, here also, you can arrange in any order. You can see with this example, you will understand. So, like that, two factorial here, two ways, and then again, five factorial, five ways here, and three factorial. So, two factorial into five factorial into three factorial. So, like that, you can calculate the number of words. In these cases, in these cases, the vowels and consonants are repeating. For example, if you see uh, the example exercise in this word, uh, the vowels are e, e, i, e. Total four, and consonants are one, two, three, four. So here you have to write the required number of words is equal to two factorial into here vowels are four, so four factorial by you have to uh, write divide this four factorial with three factorial because here e is repeating three times, so you have to divide with three factorial. This you can see in the theorem three, uh, third theorem in NCRT. You can see why you have to divide this into again uh, the consonants are four, so four factorial. Similarly, if you see the word occur. 
here uh, o u r o wilson so first i two factorial into two factorial here only consonants are repeating c c those are common consonants so two c's are repeating so three factorial total consonants are 1 2 3 three factorial you have to divide the consonants by two factorial because two c's are repeating similarly aeroplane if you take the word aeroplane here the vowels are 1 2 3 4 5 in this case uh, a is repeating again e is repeating two times so here you have to divide 5 factorial total vowels are 5 1 2 3 4 5 4 so 5 factorial by 2 factorial because 2 a is and 2 e so uh, into 2 factorial you have to divide like this into uh, consonants are 4 so 4 factorial so if the cases are like this the words are like this you have to write like this Now, please do these practice questions. Here are the answers.